Welcome back to the channel. So today I've got something a little different for you. I've been asked the question of what we do with our groceries, meat, when I get it home. So today, I'm gonna to be making Italian, sweet Italian sausage from moose meat. Stay tuned, let's get at it. So we harvested all these animals this year. What do we do after we harvest the animals when we get them home? And uh, so I thought it would be a good idea to do a couple videos on uh, preparing the meat and some recipes that we like to eat. So here we go. When I harvest an animal, I bring it home and process it, break it down into its uh, four quadrants if I don't already do that in the field. So take the four quarters off or the legs and then I have the uh, back strap, the ribs, and the neck. So I've got all that kind of broken down into its main portions. But then I'll process it into either burger, cut it into steaks, maybe keep a couple roasts. And then what I do is take and I chunk a bunch of the meat like this, and I vacuum seal it in larger pieces so that I can process it later. And I'll freeze it with the intent of breaking it down turning it into what we're gonna to do today with sausage, or um, it just depends what I wanna mix with it and make it. So depending on the kind of sausage you have is uh, the kind of grind. So when I do burger, I do a double grind through a coarse grind plate and a finer grind plate. But when I do sausage, I don't, uh, or when I do, uh, yeah, summer sausage or any of that stuff, it all gets ground differently. So you wanna be careful, or I try to be careful with the grind so that I get the texture correct. So, I've broke out a bunch of moose meat that I want to grind down. I've got this right here, I buy from the butcher, and this is organically grown grass-fed beef soot, or beef fat, grown here in Alaska. So I go to the butcher and I grab this, and what? I'm keeping the meat outside, it's nine degrees this morning, and I keep all my uh, totes of meat and stuff outside just to keep it cool. I've already thawed it out, but I want to keep it cool for grinding purposes. And then we will get into grinding it down and making sausage. So I'm spraying food grade silicone, food grade silicone into the parts just to lubricate everything. So the reason I'm adding fat is because your sausage should be, well, with game meat, it's so lean, it, has, it doesn't have the fat content. We need about 30% fat for the right sausage texture and consistency. So I'm gonna be adding three pounds of fat for 10 pounds of burger. 
or of grind of grind moose. And that'll give me my 30%. And then we can move on with seasoning and mixing. this set outside to cool. I'm gonna finish cutting up all this meat, get it ground up, and then I'll show you the next step where we're gonna weigh and we'll mix all the fat and the meat together. Add our seasoning. All right, now that we have all the meat ground up, I've got to weigh it and mix it in my mixer. That's the next step. All right, now that we've got it all ground out, I basically just weigh it out. I weigh it out into uh, one pound or two pound. And I wanna do 10 pounds. My mixer will handle 10 pounds, that's all it'll handle. So there's two pounds right there. Oh, close. So for 10 pounds is three pounds. So that's gonna be 13 pounds in the mixer. There's four, there's six. Perfect, there's eight, there's 10. Now we weigh out three pounds of this. There's one, there's two. There's three. Now that we have the moose meat and the fat weighed out in the mixer, I just have to mix it. I make sure it's mixed up real good. I like to mix it before I add the seasonings. This is actually a 20 pound mixer, I forgot. It's not a 10 pound mixer, it's a 20 pound mixer. Okay, so we need a half cup of parsley. Five teaspoons of salt. One tablespoon of garlic powder. Pepper. 
three and a half teaspoons of fennel seed. Oh man, I love the smell of fennel. Pepper, chili pepper. Put a little extra in there. There we go. Three and a half teaspoons of paprika. I'm using a smoked paprika. There's one. Oh man, that smells good. There's two. There's three. Two and a half. All right. Let's get that all mixed up. Arms. All right, that looks mixed up real good. We're gonna go ahead and put that back through the grinder. And we're gonna grind it with a medium plate. Okay, we got it all out of the mixer, back into the grinder. We're gonna grind it on a six millimeter plate, which is basically a medium grind plate. And here we go. Take a look at that. That. Ooh, man, it smells good. That's a sweet Italian sausage. Actually, I should take the sweet out. It's just Italian sausage. I didn't add a, I didn't make a sweet Italian because I didn't want to add sugar. All right, I'm gonna make a second batch of this. Breakfast sausage is pretty much the same way. Just change the seasonings up a bit. I'll leave all the recipes for this, uh, for these sausages in the description. This grinder, for those of you that are wondering what kind of grinder I'm using, this is an LEM Big Bite, and it's a number 22. So I think it's a one and a half horse or something like that. But when you're, I've gone through a few meat grinders, and this meat grinder is phenomenal. Hey, so if you're interested in processing your own game meat, all the parts and pieces that I'm using today, I use LEM products mostly. They will all be in the description below in our affiliate links. Through Amazon, when you shop with them using our links, a small portion of that goes to help support our channel and doesn't cost you anything. So go ahead and click on the links if you're interested in any of the products. All right, so I've weighed out one pound packages and I put them in the vacuum seal bags. Once it's vacuum sealed, I'll put it in the freezer and voila, we've got ourselves some Italian sausage. Me and Vaughn did a taste test and it was fantastic. 26 pounds of Italian sausage. Let's do some cooking. Okay, first thing we need to do is brown the sausage. Get that sausage browning up from yesterday that we made. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Ugh. Okay, while that's browning, I'm gonna get the vegetables cut up. So I wanted to say a big thank you to my friends Jeff and Pam. They introduced me to this recipe this fall when I was down deer hunting with them in Juneau, Alaska. It was an amazing recipe and I had to show it to you guys. So thank you, Jeff and Pam.
gonna put the onion in with the sausage to brown it. That sausage has worked pretty good. I don't need to overcook it, just brown it up. I like to use cast iron, but I also like to use stainless steel. And I know a lot of people use wooden spoons, and I'm not sure why. So if someone knows why wooden spoons are always used, leave it in the comments. I'm, I'm curious. I always use stainless steel because I can be pretty aggressive with it. I can hit things and, right, anyways. Let me know in the comments. Normally I'd use four to six zucchinis, but I am doing a half recipe, so I'm only gonna use Two. Two tablespoons of sugar going in, a teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of basil. I'm gonna put a little more basil. Quarter teaspoon of oregano. Quarter teaspoon of pepper. Two cans of tomatoes. Remember, I'm making a half recipe, so normally that'd be four cans. We're gonna use 24 ounces of regular V8. Okay, now this just needs to go on. It needs to simmer. So we'll put it on the heat and we'll let her simmer for a couple hours. And that's really all there is to it. Give it a little stir, just kind of mix everything in there. All right, I'm gonna bring it up to a boil. Once it's boiling, I'll turn it down and let it simmer for two hours. Man, that looks good. Zucchini soup. Very thick, hearty. 
Almost like a stew. All right, let's give it a little bit of a taste here. Mm. That's awesome. A mm. little bit of spice. That sausage tastes amazing. Let's see what the zucchini's like. Mmm. Oh man. That is delicious. Woo wee, I'll tell you what, that is good right there. That is good. Hey, listen, if you guys like this recipe, it's going to be down in the description. I'll have the recipe in the description. And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'm gonna do uh, some cooking videos here this winter just to show you guys kind of what I do with the animals that I shoot. And I've got a absolute killer salmon soup. Soups are just good in the wintertime when you're cold. So stick with me. If you guys liked it, like I said, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.